In today's uh, project, we are going to make a very simple DIY room spray with Polisobe 20. So over the past few videos, I've showed you um, how to use Polisobe 20, but I've not really given you a recipe, okay, that can relate with that uh, uh, mini training. So for this video, I'm going to give you a recipe on how to make your own room spray, okay? You can also call this uh, uh, linen spray okay with your polysobe 20 now remember when i talk to you about using polysobe 20 i always tell you that you have to use precaution okay when using any polysobe for that matter i personally use it up till two percent but less is more okay not more than two percent to prevent irritation so the first thing you want to do just get yourself set Get your notebook and pen ready and write down my formula as I go. But before I give you the formula, first thing you want to do is spray any beaker you want to use or any container you want to use with isopropyl alcohol, okay? It's very important as a home formulator to make sure your desk is neat, okay? Spray your desk, okay, lightly with rubbing alcohol. It's also called isopropyl alcohol. Spray your desk, okay? First. First step is to spray your desk. Okay, get a new paper towel. Any because you want to spray that you want to use. Okay, make sure it's washed. Spray it. Okay. Got the new paper towel. Okay. Use paper towel for this. Do not use cloth. Then you wipe it. If you have more time on your hand before you do your formula you might as well just spray it and allow it to hair dry by itself. But if you don't have much time, if you do not have much time, this is what you want to just spray and wipe gently. And we are good to go. Get your notebook ready and let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is determine the essential oil you want to use, okay? So there are two ways to do this. You can either use essential oil or you use fragrance oil. I personally don't like fragrance because it's it has even though it smells nice, it has toxic chemical. But if you want to use fragrance, I'll give you your own recipe too. But let's go with the essential oil first. Citra, I'm going to use citro nela essential oil. It's very good essential oil. It smells really amazing. So the first thing you want to do is to measure two gram of the essential oil. We're going to make hundred hundred gram of this, so we'll measure two gram of our essential oil. That's the first step. Two gram of your essential oil. To that you're going to add two gram of polysorbate 20 solubilizer. Two of polysorbate 20 solubilizer. So you add that to your essential oil. Two gram of polysorbate 20. We're going to mix both. So we're using equal amount of our essential oil, added to equal amount of our polysorbate 20. We we'll mix very well. That is the first step. The next step is to add your preservative. If you have any preservative that doesn't blend well with water, you might as well add it at this stage. Or any preservative you want to, you just add it at this stage. So I'm going to use Ilksil PE 9010 preservative. So I'm going to add that. Add one gram. So one gram of a preservative. Mix it. Finally, we are going to add the diluent. Anything you use to dilute 
all your ingredients called diluents and the most popular diluent we use as home formulator is distilled water. So we're going to add the still water at 95 gram. 95 gram of distilled water. We're going to mix it well and this concludes our formulation. Now, you ask me how come my formula is cloudy? What am I going to use with this cloudy mess, right? I know that's what you're thinking. Well, as you all know, the problem we have with polysorbitane is that it forms cloudy. It's because of the chemical composition when it comes with in contact with any um, fragrance oil, essential oil for that matter. It's going to, and you had water to it, to turn cloudy. Pull it and use it. Okay, that is another way you can deal with this cloudiness is you can introduce colorant to it. So colorant will not really let you know it's cloudy, right? But since we're using it at home, we don't need to worry anyway. So all you have to do at this point is just package it. Make sure you have a spray bottle, have it ready. I have this DIY room spray label it appropriately and you can label it with the essential oil you used and you package it that is the final point so don't worry about it oh wow this is this dangerous not not dangerous it's just the way polysorbate reacts with water okay so it's okay it's good to go now in my next video, I'm going to show you how to make body spray with polysorbate 20. Right? Body spray with polysorbate 20 is our next. Uh, so you're going to ask me, can I make, um, is there any solubilizer I can use to make room spray that will not form cloudy? That will be part of my upcoming video. So that's why you have to make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification icon so you'll be the first to be notified when I upload my next video. Now, I've, before I let you go, I'm going to give you the recipe for those that have fragrance oil. So if you are using fragrance oil, follow the same process or write down this recipe. If you want to make your room spray with fragrance oil, you're going to use 0.5 gram of your favorite fragrance oil, add it to 0.5 gram of polysorbate 20, then add your preservative also as a uh, one gram, Had your water at 98 gram, okay? Just note that down if you're using fragrance. Perhaps I'm just going to do that, but I'm not a fan of fragrance. I don't use fragrance oil that much. I might do that in my next video, but for the purpose of this video, we only use essential oil, okay? That's about it for this video. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified of my next video. Thanks for watching.